Good morning. Today we're working on a train RTAC air cooled, air cooled chiller. Downtown San Antonio. We're gonna go through the adaptive controller today. See if y'all know how this thing works. You got your modes, tell you if it's stopped on. You know, basic chiller stuff, evaporator, condenser, water temperatures, outdoor temperatures. If you wanna see, like if you go to diagnostics, and say everything's already clear but you want to know what happened previously go back to just modes i mean i'm sorry chiller and then you want to go right here to history diagnosis this is what's happened in the past may no longer be on it but this is what's happened in the past some resets have occurred on this chiller evaporator water flow loss back on december 7th today's february so those are Nothing major, we've probably taken care of that. And then again, if you want to check out compressor details, you can walk, look at the amps. Compressor A, compressor B, or 1A, 2A. Oil temperatures. Your refrigerants. Evaporator approach once it's running and flowing, it'll tell you that. Now, if you want to do some type of work to this chiller and you need to still be able to run it, you only want to be able to run one half. Like say you have an issue on the, the right side, circuit A. Okay, well then, you know, circuit B on the left still works. You need it to run. Okay, we could run it. What you're going to do is come in here. You can go one at a time with this one, or you can push this one and go five at a time. You're going to want to scroll down in set points, double arrow to where it says, right here, front panel, circuit one, circuit two, lock out, not locked out or locked out. If you want to lock out one of them, again, so you can pull out all the gas, make a repair, while still running this chiller on the other half, click here, and then you just lock it out, or not lock it out. You just click it, and you click OK, and then you'll be good to go. And the same thing with circuit two, lock it out. We'll lock one out if you want. See, locked out, not locked out, and then you'll go back to the front page. And it's gonna say it here, stopped. And then that's that. Now, if it tries to run later, it will say it's locked out and everything, and it's gonna want, if you come up to it and somebody's already done a repair and you don't know how to lock it out, go into set points, click on it, not locked out, and just back, and it'll take the information from there. It says it right there. See, now they're all in auto, no longer stopped, so. You come up to it once it's stopped. One of your buddies has come out, made a repair. You're not too sure how to take it out from being locked out. Again, just go to set points, scroll down to pa uh, front panel, circuit one, circuit two. It's kind of a ways down, so don't be alarmed if you're here and you don't see it right away. Again, I'll click this one. Still not there. Click it. There it is. So, okay, guys, let me know if you like this video and what other kind of videos you want to see. And today I'm just here to do an inspection. I'm gonna go through the units. Do a running inspection, make sure everything's okay.